Hey, what is up everyone? This is Jake from Mental here from Pine Technology. And today I am in beautiful Vermont. I can flip the camera. Beautiful, rural, Arlington, Sunderland, Vermont. There's a nice river behind me and a bridge. Very, very rural area. Just pretty much local traffic or... But the reason I came up to Vermont was to see the snow, number one, because we've barely gotten any snow in Southern New England but also because Verizon has 5G ultra wideband C-band here in Arlington, Vermont, uh, which is really, really cool because this is, this is like in the middle of nowhere. These areas traditionally only have low band service, band 13 only, but this location is outside of the top 46 PA and it has Verizon C-band at 60 megahertz. So I am in a bit of a weaker spot, although the low band signal is strong where I am right now, the mid band is not, but let's see how it performs. And I'll also compare it to LTE. So we'll go ahead and run a speed test here. 34 millisecond ping, which is really good, being that we're in the woods right now. So something smells really good over here. It smells like somebody might be cooking some sort of dessert or something. And a house nearby but uh, as you can see we're pulling 267 megabits per second I've been seeing anywhere between 400 and 200 throughout the town so as you can see 267 down 708 up ping of 34 milliseconds and good loaded latency there as well let's go ahead and switch it to LTE and see what that gives us all right I've gone ahead and switched the phone over to just standard LTE From what I'm aware of, this site is fully upgraded. It has band 2, band 66, and band 13 on LTE at 4x4 MIMO. So as you can see, we're playing about 70 megabits on LTE here, which is also really good. But you can see that that C-band, even in a weaker mid-band area like this one, is contributing about 200 megabits per second more than just LTE only. So that is pretty incredible 67 down 11.5 up 49 millisecond ping good load of latency uh, but yeah this is this is the middle of nowhere and it's outside of the top 46 pa very cool i'm also going to do a speed test on at&t and t-mobile so right here we have at&t in my iphone alongside verizon let's see what at&t pulls here they only have lte only here so no 5g to see and it looks like the lt speeds are pretty good here the latency is excellent 24 milliseconds for me all the way out here looks like we're pulling upwards of 50 to 60 megabits per second very very nice i believe they have band 2 band 5 and band 66 here so a decent amount of spectrum but c band for at&t will also very very much be helpful in areas like this and uh, so 60.5 down 0 0.67 upload not too great 24 millisecond ping on AT&T LTE in the same location now let's take a look at T-Mobile all right and right here I have T-Mobile they have band 2 and band 12 no band 71 it seems like in this location which is interesting because this is Vermont where they're supposed to be using that, but it seems like they do have 700 megahertz band 12 licenses in this location. So speeds have been about 30 megabits per second or so. Pretty decent. It's showing the 5G icon because band two is coming in and out, but I do not see any sort of band 71 or N71 5G. So now it's switched over to the LTE icon because it's on band 12, but uh, pretty decent speeds. Uh, 30 megabits per second down, 3.29 up, 46 millisecond ping. A little bit of a high jitter there, but nothing too crazy. It varies from test to test. So T-Mobile also doing okay in this uh, location, but for a carrier that talks a lot about 5G, there's no 5G here, even though the map indicates there's 5G here. All right, here I am at a different location in the same town. Absolutely beautiful view. I have no idea where the cell tower is. I've never actually been able to see it or get line of sight, but uh, see what the speeds are like here. So 
So we're pulling 480 megabits per second down. That is incredible. Middle of the woods of Vermont, 480 megabits per second on Verizon C-Band. Finally, for the last location, I went to a cool red old covered bridge, which I was able to drive my car through, which is pretty cool. And I did some speed tests there. This was two miles away from the cell site. And as you can see, C-Band was still reaching two miles. And I was pulling 270 down and 4.79 upload. So still pretty good speeds for being two miles away from the cell site. Very impressive. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like up down below. Also, comment down below if you've seen Verizon C-Band in your area. It's starting to really go in all kinds of different places. A lot of rural areas are now just starting to get it. That will increase significantly throughout 2023. So this is super, super cool to see. The performance has been very good in this small town of Sunderland, Vermont. Areas that typically have very limited internet access or not the best service. So. This will open a lot of opportunities. Again, thanks so much for watching. Smile because you and technology are amazing. And peace out.